TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 138. You had the NASDAQ uh, down 7. Uh, S&P's flat. Gold contract down $8.90, trading at 13 dollars Silver down $0.19, cents, $17.29. Now, both gold and silver, you had volume as it went topside. They gave it up on price. High volatility. King dollar. What do we have A king dollar? King dollar up 64 ticks, 89.070. King dollar was down uh, a few hundred ticks before uh, Trump spoke in Davos, said that Mnuchin was misunderstood. Bottom line, uh, it took King Dollar topside for maybe, I guess, about two hours. Bottom line, you get flat King Dollar. King Dollar's in an ABC structure on the way down. 82,500 is the number. Right now, we're at 89. The euro is trading at 124 to the U.S. dollar. Yen is out here at 129 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Big move out here today, notes and bonds, folks. You had the 10-year note up eight ticks. 122.15, not that that's a huge number, but what you have is that it wasn't a breakdown. Uh, the 10 year has to get back inside the 123.30, uh, uh, which is about a point and a half from where we are, in order to basically have a failure of that breakdown. 30 year bond up almost a full point, 149.14. So as we're coming into Friday, what I expect you're going to see out here, we are going to continue to see high volatility inside the note market, inside the metals market, as well as the currency market. Uh, bottom line, the, if we go take a look at the euro out here, what you're going to see is that this was a, a huge move uh, down in the dollar, and in fact, and up in just about every other currency that the dollar is going against. The euro today uh, hit 125.37. Uh, bottom line, this euro uh, on a longer term basis uh, is going to be trading up into the price point of it's swing point of 139, which was the swing going all the way back of June of 2014. To recap out here, you had the Dow Industrials finish up 140. NASDAQ uh, basically uh, was uh, flat, down three. S&Ps were flat. Uh, you stay right there. We're going to be coming back with lots of numbers after the close. Uh, we are in the middle of earnings season. The first one that's going to be coming out right at the 4 o'clock time frame is going to be Intel. Have a safe one, folks. Have a safe one. Have, have a great one.